Yo, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to play 4x3 stretched inside a Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Now this is going to be very important for those of you that want to play outside of native and want to start playing on a more competitive resolution that's going to give you the advantage of having a closer POV and make your game feel much smoother. And it's not as simple as just going into your video settings and changing this. Um, it's actually going to involve you going outside of CSGO to change some settings to make sure that your screen is very uh, full screen and not cut off and giving you black bars, which can be very uh, aesthetically not pleasing. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that today. I'm going to teach you how to properly set up your uh, display so that we can play on 4x3 and play properly. I'm going to teach you what 4x3 resolutions are the best to play on. But before I get into that, guys, I have a message from the sponsor of today's video. Hey, guys, make sure to check out CSGO Net. On CSGO Net, you can play with upgrades, trade-ups, and of course, so many different cases with extremely cool drops inside. Here's an example of one of the cases. I unboxed a pair of Shadow Daggers Doppler for huge profit. I also used their upgrade feature to get an M4A1S skin that I love while making profit with it. Withdrawing on the site is extremely easy. Simply go to your profile, find the skin that you want and click claim. So guys, if you wanna play on CSGO Net, they have so many options on how to deposit. If you use code KOJOMO, you will get a 40% bonus to your deposit. That is insane. For those of you lucky enough, there's a limited code KOJO that will get you a 100% bonus on your deposit. Link to CSGO Net will be in the description. All right, guys. So like I said, we're going to have to actually change some stuff outside of Counter-Strike Global Offensive first. And what we're going to do is actually open up uh, our menu here. We're going to right click on the home screen. Go to show more options and open up nvidia control panel and with that being said guys this is going to be a guide for nvidia users i can do an amd guide in the future if this video gets enough feedback for that i'll be more than happy to do that for you guys but for today we're just going to show you what to do with uh, nvidia all right so the what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to adjust desktop size and position go ahead and click on that and this is what we're going to do by default it's going to be on aspect ratio change that to full screen this is going to stretch your your game out so that there's no black bars let's get rid of those and make sure that we're actually playing on full screen but we're not done yet because what we also have to do is go over here and click display and make sure that our gpu is on instead of the display and now guys with that with that being said also make sure that this is unchecked do not override that just leave that set and go ahead and down here and click apply and give it a second and then click yes now this is going to make sure that your game is properly set up and we can hop back into cs and see what to do next all right guys so now we're back in cs and what we're going to do is actually go over here to the menu settings menu go ahead and click on video it should be the first one that pops up and here's where we're going to get into it now so go ahead and click on normal 4x3 but what resolution should we play on right I'll go ahead and tell you guys from, we'll go from the bottom up, uh, 640 by 480, absolutely never play on that. That is way too stretched. You're not going to be able to see anything at all. Same thing with 720 by 576, uh, absolutely not. Don't play on either of these two resolutions. It is not worth it, trust me. So 800 by 600 has very few players that play on it. It is still so bad looking and it just, I don't think you, you should play on it because you don't see your skins and even playing competitively it's really hard to, to even see your scoreboard that's how pixelated it is so don't play on that resolution but a resolution that you could play on is 1024 by 768 this is a very good resolution for spraying with rifles it's extremely smooth and buttery the only issue i have with this resolution is that it's it can be really hard for me to use pistols and the deagle and sometimes the op on this because the game moves way too fast the game is like much faster on this resolution and plus with the pixelated and blurriness it can make you kind of sick playing on it for too long now 1152 by 6 864 i would not recommend this and i'll, I'll tell you guys it, it's not a horrible resolution but i think that if you're going to play on this resolution you should just play on 1024 or you should play on the next resolution which is 1280 by 960 now this is the most popular resolution to play on 4x3 it is the resolution that simple uses zaiwu uses and even players like twist use right so this is generally what most players are going to be on is 1280 by 960 and it's kind of the goldilocks of all of these resolutions and it just makes the game feel very smooth and very solid it's actually the resolution i use and have used for the past years and i've never looked back because it's just the the best one that you can use 
And also 1280 by 1024, I have to let you guys know that this is actually a five by four resolution. Um, technically it's not even a four by three res, but uh, the most popular play that's ever used this is probably Brolin from NIP. He historically has used this resolution and found success with it. But to me, it looks the cleanest. It looks extremely nice, but I just don't like how much it really distorts your game and makes it look like it, it really does make your game feel way too fast. And I, I don't personally like it, but 1280 by 960 is kind of my Goldilocks. Go ahead and click apply on that and it's going to uh, save your settings. Make sure with that, with that being said that you are in full screen as well or it's going to look really bad. Never play on anything outside of full screen and disable laptop power savings. So now that you have that, like I said, it's going to make your game look a lot blurrier, right? It's not going to look as pretty. Uh, your skins are going to look a lot more pixelated or blocky, especially when you have lower video settings like me. So what we're going to use this res for is really just the competitive advantage that it gives us, right? Playing on 4x3 is going to make things move a lot faster. That is the biggest complaint that people have. But for me, it feels a lot smoother. And when I had a lower end PC, for some reason, playing on 4x3 actually made it feel a lot smoother and a lot better to be on, right? Versus native. And as you can see when we're in game, if you're used to playing on native, you'll see that things look a lot different than usual, right? And even your crosshair is going to change and you might have to use a crosshair that looks best on 4x3. If you guys want, this crosshair is extremely sick. But yeah, guys, this has just been a little tutorial on how to play 4x3 stretch inside a Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more stuff like this, I'd be more than happy to teach you guys how to play other resolutions, how to get custom resolutions. Just let me know what you want to see and I will provide that to you guys. I'm posting videos every single day on this channel and I want to grow with you guys until we have risen to the top. So thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and I'll see you later.